Hey, what's up? Hello, Katie here, and we're going to do a dedicated reading vlog to a book box. So it's Literati. I think you've probably seen and heard of them before. I know they're a very new book subscription box and like a book club, but I saw them on Instagram a bunch. And when they reached out to me and asked if they could sponsor a video, I was like, yeah, I want to join in the fun. Like, I want to join the gang. What's up? What's the initiation fee? I want to be part of it. So what I'm going to be doing is opening this box and reading this as like a reading vlog. And what Literati is, is it's an integration of a book club and a book box, like a book subscription. So what they do is there's 12 different hosts of book clubs. And the hosts are called luminaries. And they're either like, authors, activists, or artists, and each of them hosts a book club. And each month what they do is that they pick a book that they're really passionate about, something that is kind of involved with like their field of study, something that they have a passion for, or something that they really want to be more relevant, and a book that they've read that they really enjoy, that they want to put out to more maybe like-minded people like them, or people that are just interested in um, their taste. So they've got a lot of different book hosts, like you've got... Um, so many people. There's like Malala, there is uh, Stephen Curry, there is Roxane Gay, there's uh, Susan Orlin. You pick a host or a luminary and then you subscribe to that. And then there's two different membership services with Literati. There is standard and premium. So for premium, you get this box. Like I'm going to show you, I'm going to open it for you. And it's going to include the book, it's going to include a bookmark, it's going to include a personalized note from the luminary, and it's also going to include other reading materials. I'm not sure what those will be. We'll discover it together. Um, but that's really amazing. And then if you choose the standard membership option, you it's like a BYOB situation, like bring your own book, but you do get full app access. And you get full app access with the premium as well. I can't believe I forgot to tell you about the app. Like that's I don't know if it's my favorite. Is it my favorite part? Is it my favorite part? I think it's my favorite part. I'm like, I'm trying to think of what my favorite part is. I think that one's my favorite part is that there's an integrated app. And this is something that I've never seen like any other subscription of any kind of box, like not just book boxes. I've never seen anybody do this. And it's an app where it connects like your book box and your book club with the book community. So you've got three different angles all coming together. And it's almost like if Goodreads had what you actually wanted, which is like the ability to respond to comments and like to respond to people and have an open discussion on reviews of books and like have an open discussion with the book community on books and stuff. And then it's also an open discussion with your book club. You're telling me I can go on this app and watch Roxane Gay talk about this book while I read this book. That's amazing. You can change your host each month if you want to. Like if you read a book from one, um, author, activist, or, you know, luminary, and maybe you weren't super interested in that book, or maybe you're like, I love that, but I want to try something new. You can change with no fee, no hassle, no commitment. You can just change at any time and get a different host and different book club the next month. And that takes so much of the hassle and commitment out of it, which honestly is one of the biggest, like, hassles of a book club is commitment. So you take that commitment out and that's so amazing. And then another thing is that if you are a member of Literati, you can buy any of those months books, even if you're not in that book club. Editing Katie here to pop in and just cut out what I was about to say because I just got so confusing. But what I meant is that Literati's books are up to 60% off of retail value which is crazy. And do you want to hear something crazier? Is that they just reintroduced, which is good that I'm making this clip because they emailed me telling me that they reintroduced their 99 cent trial program. So if you use the link in my description <clears throat> and you choose to start a trial, you can do it for 99 cents. Yeah. Okay. Back to past Katie. Listen, I, I mean, I didn't have anything to worry about, to be honest, because I chose Roxanne Gay. <laughs> I chose Roxanne Gay. Are you kidding me? I was like, I don't need to see the rest of the list. I don't need to see it. You don't need to tell me what the book is. I don't need to see the rest of the list. I don't need to hear anything. Miss Rox Gan Gay herself. Miss Gay. That's what they should call me, honestly. Miss Gay. Her book club is called the Audacious Book Club. <sighs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with you and then we're going to see what's in it. I'm going to tell you about the book and then we're going to do a reading vlog. It's Of Women and Salt, a novel by Gabriela Garcia. Okay, well, this is already stunning. Are you kidding me? This is so secret history. This is beautiful. 
I feel like I'm getting invited to like the freaking Met. Okay, so it looks like they're giving you like some um, background on Gabriela Garcia that's so beautiful and then a um, more succinct like about the story or summary here, themes and topics. It says themes and topics are border crossing, secret messages, stop, beautiful complexity, and then beyond the book. Gabriela Garcia began writing of women in salt while working as a migrant rights organizer at a family detention center in Texas. Okay, how are you? That's not fair. How can she be this smart, this talented, and this hot? Like, that's just not, that's not fair. Okay, let's start reading the book. And I think what I'm going to do is I might, because it's about 200 pages, I might pop in like every 50 pages or so, depending on how long the chapters are. I might pop in every, yeah, it looks like the chapters are really long. Yeah, I mean, really long for the short of a book. But uh, I might pop in, I think, every 50 pages and tell you how it's going. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, let's knock on wood. <sighs> let's get reading. <laughs> Psych. I fell asleep right after making that clip. Anyway, it's the next day. We are about to begin the book on a little walk and read, which I haven't done in weeks, which is so weird for me. I was like, I put on my walking shoes and I was like, oh my God, Katie. Are you about to go walk around the neighborhood? Who are you? Hello. Uh, we're about to bring it back to an oldie, which I need to be doing more of because it's the freaking summertime, but there's an 80% chance of rain in like two hours. So we're going to hope for the best and we're going to begin this book. Okay, I've already teared up twice. <sighs> this book is good and deep and good. I got to page 56. I had to cut the walk short because it started drizzling. Nothing crazy, but like drizzling isn't good for paper products, like books, you know? We're following these like Cuban women and um, a bunch of different generations of women and how they have like immigrated to America and like some of them are getting deported and the lives that their mothers lived and that their mother's mothers have lived and that their daughters have lived. And it's just, whew, it's really deep so far. And I really like that things are happening so quickly. Like there is just, like in the first chapter, the first chapter, um, there was a moment that made me tear up where I was like, oh no, like, which oh, I'm, like, I'm not crying. Cause like, I don't like, I'm not crying, but I am tearing up like, wow, this is a very hard hitting story. I'm really liking it. I don't feel like any of what I'm saying right now is really making sense. It's good. I got um, a chapter and a half more of it read and I'm really liking it. It is very good so far. The chapter that I just read was like a little bit more mundane or a little bit more boring than the other ones have been, but still good.
Oh my God. Okay. I have so many things to say. One, I finished this book. Okay. This is a different, definite four out of five stars. Like I had such a good time reading this. It's such a deep, just such a deep book. I really liked that. I think that the, um, for such a short book and to have so many different generations was very interesting. I felt like I really did care a lot for the characters, which I felt like was going to be very difficult to do, but it wasn't. Like I think Jeanette and Anna and oh god I think they were my favorite characters I really really loved them the mom too was really beautiful but the thing I have to say about this other than like because I know nothing culturally like nothing I learned a lot in this um about like the border crossing and how hard it is and like the immigration like the ice experience and, and being deported like obviously I will knock on fucking wood I mean, knock on even fake wood that I would never experience something like that but even getting a taste of learning about it is harrowing. So this is like probably, I want to say like one of the most immersive book reading experiences I've ever had, because not only do I have like, say the personalized note from um, Roxane Gay, but then I have like an interview with Roxane Gay in here. And then I also have her commentary in the app. So like, that was absolutely amazing. Like if you really, really admire um, a content creator, um, an author, an activist, and you want like, you just want to know their taste. You want to know what they think about books. I mean, obviously, literati is like the only experience I can think that would hold a candle to what you'd be wanting in that scenario. But oh my god, this was such a fun time. Like I really did have a fun time. I want to thank literati for giving me this experience to have. And obviously, like if you would like to learn more about it, they will be all the links will be down below for everything. So I want to thank Literati again. I want to thank you for watching. I know this is a little bit of a different vlog. Um, I will have my Goodreads and my Instagram linked down below. If you want to follow me on any other platform, I will have a video coming out very soon. And other than that, have an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, dusk, whatever you're having. I don't freaking know. I'll see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.